I want to show you how I weave in the ends when I'm working in a rib stitch. And this is going to work me towards my goal of having a video on weaving in ends for every kind of stitch there is. <laughs> kind of. Let's take a look. I have this 2x2 two two rib sample here, and I have uh, this end to weave in. And the point is I want to weave in the end so that I don't lose any elasticity in the work. Because that's why, we, that's why we use rib stitch. It looks cool and it's really elastic. And if you work it straight across this way, you'll have stitches that are um, tighter and not as stretchy as the other ones. This solution is so simple. I hope you like it as much as I do. So I have two purl stitches here and two knit stitches here. I'm going to work my working yarn over to these knit stitches. And then I'm going to just travel straight up this column of knit stitches, just whipping my needle around into the right leg of the V, going all the way up. So I pull that this way, straighten it out, and then I turn back around the other way and pick up the left leg of the V going down and pull that through and just make sure that it's not bunching any of the stitches while you do it. Now naturally, I left my scissors in the other room, but once I cut this, you see, you can hardly tell that it's there and you haven't lost any elasticity in the work. And here's Parker with my scissors. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you see how good that looks? You can hardly tell. And once it's blocked, you won't be able to tell at all. And that is how I weave in the ends when I'm working in rib stitch. Good luck.